Hello! My name is Ilza, and I'm gonna read you the Lucy and Tom Christmas book. Christmas is coming! Lucy and Tom are helping to stir the Christmas pudding. As they stir, they each make a wish. The postman comes to the house more often than usual. He brings cards wishing them all a Merry Christmas, and sometimes parcels too. These have to be hidden away until Christmas Day comes. Lucy and Tom are making their own Christmas cards with pictures of robins and Christmas trees on them. They've made some paper chains too, to make the house look pretty. Mom is putting up some green leaves. On the hall table, they've put a crib with Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus, the three kings, the shepherds, and the donkey and the cow. Lucy and Tom have cut out a big gold paper star to hang over them and put pretend cotton wool snow all around. They have presents for everybody in the family. Lucy has a sparkly brooch for mum, a rubber in the shape of a dog for dad to take to his office, a comb in a case for granny with A for Allison on it, because that's granny's name, a handkerchief for grandpa with J for John on it, because that's grandpa's name, and a shiny blue car for Tom. Tom has a mug for mum to have her tea out of, a smart bow tie on an elastic for dad, a calendar for granny, which he made at nursery at school, a packet of seeds for grandpa to grow flowers from when the spring comes, and a pen for Lucy, which changes into different colors. Lucy and Tom have wrapped up their presents already. Tom hides his in a different place every day and every day he asks Lucy to guess what her present is going to be. They talk a lot about the presents they hope they're going to get for Christmas. Mom helps them both to write letters to Father Christmas and post them up the chimney. There's a knock at the door. Some big children have come to sing carols. One afternoon, a band comes to their street to play Christmas music. Lucy and Tom run out to watch. They know some of the tunes. They can sing Silent Night, Away in a Manger, and Once in a Royal David City. Lucy and Tom go to the market with Dad to choose a Christmas tree. There are crowds of people. The lights are shining out and the shops and stalls are full of exciting things. Christmas Eve has come at last. Dad gets home early, and together they hang all sorts of pretty glittering things on the tree. Then they arrange the parcels underneath it. Now it is bedtime. Lucy and Tom hang up their stockings at the end of their beds. They look out at the sky. It's beginning to snow. Mom says, good, it's going to be a white Christmas. Lucy and Tom are far too excited to go to sleep. How can you get to sleep when Father Christmas may be coming? But somehow or other, they do. When they wake up, it's very early and still dark. It's Christmas Day. Has Father Christmas come? Yes, he has! Lucy and Tom feel into their stockings and pull out the presents one by one. Lucy and Tom go along to Mom and Dad's room to show them what Father Christmas has brought, but it's a bit too soon for them yet. Imagine not wanting to wake up early on Christmas Day. Lucy and Tom go back to their room and play with their new toys. Now Mom and Dad have woken up. They all hug each other. Christmas has really begun. After breakfast, they look out. It's white everywhere and very cold. But the sun comes out as they walk to church. When they are at home again, lots of people arrive. Granny and Grandpa, Granny's old friend Mrs. Barlow, who lives all by herself, Auntie Jill and Uncle Rob, and their little baby, Elizabeth. That's ten people for dinner. 
Everyone helps to get it ready. They all sit down round the table to eat roast turkey, Christmas pudding, and lots of other delicious things. Afterwards, they pull crackers. There are some loud bangs, but Mrs. Barlow doesn't mind a bit. She says she doesn't hear as well as she used to, and she just smiles and smiles. After everything is cleared away, Lucy and Tom give out a present for everyone from underneath the tree. What a lot of surprises! Elizabeth only likes the wrapping paper on her present. She goes off to sleep in the middle of it like a hamster. Christmas can be quite tiring. Tom gets very excited about his presents and rather cross. So he and Grandpa go for a walk together in the snow. Just the two of them. The sun is very big and red. When they get home again, all the family sit around the fire and play heads, bodies, and legs. The first person draws a head and folds over the paper. The next person draws a body. The next person draws some legs. And the last person chooses a name. When they're all finished and the papers are opened out, there are some very funny looking pictures. Lucy calls her person Uncle Rob and Tom calls his Father Christmas. Now it's time to light the tree. On Earth's peace, goodwill toward men. It's dark outside. The lights shine out into the street. Merry Christmas, Lucy and Tom. Merry Christmas, everyone. Wasn't that lovely? I really enjoyed it. I hope you did too. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Bye.